dear students welcome back once again today i shall discuss chapter number 21 the name of the chapter is comprehension passages which is which is written on the board you can see so it is one of the easiest chapter of the book it is one of the easiest chapter of this book <coughs> one or sometime maybe two or three paragraphs will be given to you and there will be some questions some descriptive questions sometimes multiple choice questions will be there which you are to answer from the given paragraph so it will be sometime it will be sometime one paragraph will be there sometime two sometime three from there you and some questions will be given to you two three descriptive will be there four or five multiple choice will be there so you are to answer from you are to answer those questions from the given paragraph now what is mean uh, what is what is comprehension what is comprehension ability to understand ability to understand and if i tell you the dic uh, dictionarical meaning then it is a test to find out how well students understand written or spoken language that is it is a test to understand how well students how to understand how well students understand understand written or spoken language so comprehension means the ability to understand the ability the ability the ability to understand u n d e r the ability to understand so your english so your so your language the knowledge or knowledge of language will be checked the ability will be checked so maybe spoken or written the ability of spoken or written language will be tested so your understanding level should be good your understanding level should be good it has been given in your syllabus to develop your english language skill to develop your english language skill sometime you will uh, while uh, that means sometime while reading the paragraph you will get two three tough words but what you have to do uh, that means you will get two three tough words if you don't understand then read the paragraph another time then also if you don't understand then read again then after reading what that means if you read if you don't understand if you read again and again then you can understand something two three difficult word meaning will be there but don't worry because if you read the paragraph two three times then you can understand what is what has been said in the paragraph then you can easily answer the questions understood or not so two three points you should always remember your answer that means if descriptive descriptive question is there then your answer should be brief it should be short if you can try if you uh, your answer should be brief and if you can if you can try to write it in your own language don't write whatever is there for example one question is there and you have got the answer in book directly what you have done you have copied the line which is there in the book don't do it under if you can try to write in your own language just what is the uh, for example you got the answer just try to understand what what has been said then in your own language try to develop the answer or try to write the answer so and uh, i forgot to tell you comprehension means the uh, the ability to understand something the, to, the ability to understand some something and passages means a short piece of writing that means a short piece of writing passage uh, passage means a short a 
a short piece of writing a short p i e c a short piece of writing a short piece of writing now a short piece of writing that means comprehension is the ability to understand and passage passage means a short piece of writing that the ability to understand a, a short piece of writing understood now so what what are the things we have to remember point number 1 uh, that means what we should keep in mind while answering the questions that our answer should be brief our answer should be brief if it is descriptive then try to we are to, uh, you should try to write in your own language don't copy from the book don't copy from the paragraph which is given to you try to write it in your own language understood or not now unsolved passages are there in your book one is there that means if you have the new book with you then page number 174 page number 174 read the passage given below gandhi gandhi ji's character and personality has a universal universal appeal he influenced all those who came in contact with him the secret of his influence lies in his extremely simple and pious way of life he lived like a yogi with very few wants his dress was simple loin cloth his house a poor man's cottage his food a handful of dates a cup of orange juice and goat's milk does he live the life of the humblest and poorest no wonder people called him mahatma that means gandhi that means a father of nation mahatma gandhi his that means his character and personality has a universal appeal that means all people liked, liked him he influenced those who came near to him because he was very simple he was very simple he used to eat that means he ate dates orange ju uh, juice so he was very simple he used to wear a piece of cloth around his hip so he was very simple and he was also that means he uh, he was very simple and he was very pious that means all all the time he used to speak the truth so he was very simple that is simple he was humble he he used to all the time he used to tell the truth so all the people around him liked him and those who came near him those who came in contact with him were influenced by his way of living he was born on 2nd october 1869 in purbandar india mahatma gandhi studied law and came to and came to advocate for the rights of indians both at home and in south africa he spent 20 years in south africa opposed opposing discrimination against indians he became one of the major political and spiritual leaders of his time so he was born on 2nd october 1961 and the name of the place is purbandar and he studied law and came uh, and he studied law and then what he did he fought for the rights of indians both uh, he fought for the rights of india in india and in south africa the uh, indians in south africa were discriminated and in india also india was under the control of british again in india <coughs> indians were also tortured discriminated by the british britishers they were not given the rights so he fought for the rights of the indian in in india and in south africa gandhi ji's life was devoted to truth and non violence he laid down his life for the sake of tr truth and thus attained the position of a saint and martyr gandhi ji's devotion to truth was full of love towards his fellow men so his motto of life was non violence and for the sake of truth what he laid down his life so this is 
this is all about Mahatma Gandhi. He was a very simple man. He was a pious, pious man. His style of living was very simple. Understood or not? So why did people call Gandhi ji Mahatma? People call uh, that means people call him Mahat Mahatma because he was very simple and pious. He ate uh, that means his style of living was very simple. His style was his, his style of living was very simple and he was very uh, he was a pious man and those who came in contact with him they were influenced by his simpleness that is why he was uh, that is why he is people call him mahatma why was gandhi ji fighting uh, what was gandhi ji fighting for in south africa gandhi he was fighting for the indians in south africa as the indians were uh, as the indians were disc uh, discriminated by the government of south africa by the government of south africa now this was broad questions or you can say descriptive questions now choose the correct answers this is multiple choice question these are multiple choice questions gandhi ji was a man of principles he influenced the en entire hu humanity by his option number a violent rule option number b thoughtful nature c simple and pious life d none of this above now if you look at a new book if you look at new book one page number 174 then you will see that that the secret of his influence lies in his extremely simple and pious way of life that is option number c is the correct answer simple and pious life gandhi ji attained the position of saint question number 2 gandhi ji attained the position of a saint and a and a martyr due to his belief in option number a simplicity b unity and diversity c truth and non violence non violence d god so page number new book page number 175 last paragraph you will see that gandhi ji's life was devoted to truth and non violence so option number c is the correct answer question number 3 gandhi ji believed in simple living and high thinking he he was known to be a yogi because because you can say all of this above all of this above all of this all of this the two principles that guided gandhi ji in his lifetime were question number 4 so and this is so we know the two principles uh, the two principles that guided gandhi ji in his lifetime were truth and non violence option number a truth and non violence okay now gandhi ji's devotion of truth was full of now this you will find in last Sent, uh, last sent, uh, last sentence of the paragraph you will see that last line of the paragraph gandhi ji's devotion to truth was full of love was full of love the synonym of love is affection the synonym of love is affection option number c question number 6 is option number answer is option number c and question number 5 option number a uh, correct answer is option number b so i hope you have understood whatever i have discussed so in exam paragraphs one maybe one maybe two or three paragraphs will be there some descriptive questions will be there some multiple choice questions will be there so you have to answer reading the paragraph this is the end of today's class if you face any problem then call me at night